Well, it's about midnight now, July 24th, 2010. Well, it's about midnight now, July 25th, 2020. And I'm actually going to bed right now. I just thought I'd stay up. I would normally be up at this time anyway, but it's a very special day because I have my brother Ben. He's here. Hello. He's hanging out. He's had a rough week, but it got a lot better. Yeah. Just right. because he's hanging out with Sam and I. Yeah. You keep him believing that too. <laughs> We're gonna hang out for a bit, but we'll record our actual day. Coming soon. I'm Joe Kowalski, and this is Oberlin, Ohio. I'm Joe Kowalski, and this is Cleveland, Ohio. I'm gonna take my girlfriend, Sam, and my brother, Ben, out to breakfast this morning. Why, hello, Becca, my 13-year-old sister. I'm 15, by the way. Good morning, beautiful girl. Good morning. Wake up early to feed the cat. Go to work. Morning, Ben. Get awake. Stop. I'm sorry, Ben. Why are you taping? Good morning, Ben. Good morning, Joe. <laughs> we have a beautiful color changing light. And because we were in the time of COVID, we have a wide assortment of masks for different, uh, different moods, different days. On the television, as you can imagine. It's an old television. Even older by the time you watch this. Joe of the past would be happy to know that 10 years later, I have a very nice TV with a cool sound system. Good morning, beautiful girl. You are so perfect. How could it be anything less perfect? Okay, going to work. I will be home a little less than 12 hours from now. Great, 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 great. Hi, Ben. Hello. I don't know if you're in the shot or not. There you go. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It's okay. <laughs> Stop taping on! So this is nature's oasis. You get delicious vegan food here. Beautiful day. I go inside the market hall. Nearby to this area, Shaker Square. It's really wonderful. There's a movie theater over there when COVID isn't happening. They're showing Inception at the Apollo Theater. And a supermarket, and lots of restaurants, a CVS, a Ben, a Sam. Uh, on nice days, I tend to take a bike ride too down our street. It's kind of an escape, I guess. A minor escape, just from our little rural yard, you know? Maybe I'm just anti-social, I don't know. I think 15-year-old Joe would be really happy to know that he lives in the city now. I feel like 15-year-old Joe was very concerned about making sure that I was somewhere where things felt really exciting because I really wanted to matter and I really wanted to make sure that the things that I'm making get seen. And I still want that, but I realize now that um, I guess I'm less concerned with about how I matter in, in and of myself and more concerned about how I matter to the people in my life. So let's see what gas prices are on July 24th, 2010. Can't really tell. 277 over there. So it's not too high, not too low. I forgot to get the gas prices for today, but the Ohio average right now is 
$2.12 right around, which it may makes, it, makes it one of the few things that I think is actually cheaper in 2020. Time to put on your favorite mask and come inside Loganberry Books with us. We're going off to the bank to buy our mother a present because it's her birthday tomorrow. Right, Ben? Yes. Yeah. It feels so me. me. You really want that scene. There's an extra sense of urgency because it's our mom's birthday today and we uh, <laughs> haven't bought her a present yet. <laughs> so if there's anything really cool. So I got her Julie Andrews first memoir. Then still doesn't really know, so we're gonna try maybe an antique store. My siblings think we're lost. So Ben found, what'd you find Ben? The Virgin Family Game. <laughs> yep, game. classic. Yeah. So Sam's gonna stay at home, but she's writing a card for my mom. And uh, we're gonna head over to my parents' house. Mama Kowalski. Oh my gosh, it's my little sister Lucy. How you doing? Good, are you sure this is safe? Of course it is. This is our front yard. And this is our house in Oberlin, Ohio. Oh, yeah, there we go. This is my family's house where I grew up. And where I'm growing up too. This is my dad. Say hi, Papa. Hi, Papa. <laughs> he's going off to church, so he's all dressed up. <laughs> and this is my mom. Hi. Happy birthday. Happy roses. birthday. Wow. Is this a better birthday than the one you had 10 years ago? It was 10 years ago. What do you want? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mom, you're only 18. Well, that's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Mom, I was worried because I think you might have read this already. But just let me know and I can. Okay. I have not. Oh, you have not? Oh, okay. Because I, I heard it's really good. Yeah, I didn't read it yet. She usually <laughs> goes back to me to read. And I haven't, I've just actually read a book. I haven't read a book in a very long time. I just finished one. Yeah, thank you. I blew out my voice a bit singing in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Flowers from Grandma. <laughs> How you doing, no, Grandma? Okay. How you doing, Joe? Good. Good to see ya. Likewise. <laughs> and do you like your board game too? <laughs> yeah. Good work. Big backyard. Yeah. Our garden over here. Garden. Garden. Isn't it a beautiful day? Look at that sky. And if you look at the footage from ten years ago, the trees are much taller now. In fact, you can't even see the road anymore from our backyard. And here is the coffee can. <laughs> Every good lookout tower has a coffee can. Is that true? Yes. Uh, okay. Yes, it is. That's about it for the backyard. You can see the highway from our house, although the trees are starting to block it, which is what my dad wants. Six sets. One. I think another thing about Joe from 10 years ago when he was 15 is that I really felt like 
being silly was going to embarrass me all these years later. And I found now, watching back, the fact that I was trying to be so serious and so, you know, uppity about stuff was actually way more embarrassing than if I had just been myself. And it's lunchtime, Lou. Looking very cute. Lucy, what's in there? Wanna tell us? Having some uh, vegan pot stickers with my papa. <laughs> All right, Lucy, what's my fortune? <clears throat> if you think you can do a thing or think you can't do a thing, you're right. You can't do anything. <laughs> He's in art class. Okay. I'm a professional. Churchy time. They say it's raining. There's Joe mailing a letter. In the rain. Lou and I, back seat. We're going to my Nana's house because our cousin Waverly is currently there. She's just a wee little tot. Two things they need to know about Waverly. Very energetic and very talkative. <laughs> Visiting my Nana right now. This is my Nana. No way. <laughs> she just got her floor redone. Yes. Isn't it beautiful? It was a, it was a lot, a lot of, a lot of time, right? But it took a lot of time, but it was worth it. <laughs> How is it looking after Waverly? Oh, it's a little disaster over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, how's my floor looking, or how's Waverly doing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Nan and I were just talking politics. <laughs> yes. yes. It's a strange time. <laughs> Strange, crazy times. <laughs> hopefully it will be better soon. Yes, hopefully 10 years from now it will be just a distant now, thing we'll be talking about as a long ago memory. We'll be talking about it. 10 years ago we never ever would have predicted this happening. I hear Waverly kind of tuckered you out of it. Yes, yes she did. <laughs> I mean she's great, she has a lot of imagination, but... It's a bit tiring. <laughs> In the meantime I made a dino. S'more. Dino S'more. Ah, how about that? Nana, do you, do you want to wave goodbye to the camera? <laughs> Lucy, thanks for being part of my Life in a Day Day. Life in a Day Day Day. <laughs> do you want to say goodbye? Bye. And remember, Eat baloney. Oh. Happy birthday, Mother. Thank you. <laughs> Hope you had a good life in a day day birthday. I did. Life in a day day birthday. It's a good life in a day day birthday. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is this? Is that your pipe cleaner? That is so beautiful. This is art, Cozy. Wow. You are perfect. That girl looks amused. Whoa. Okay, okay, I help you. Okay, we're gonna make some delicious cookies. Some vomit, vegan, and cake. Okay, okay, this is my spirit. You put them on there. You put it in a perfect circle. And then you take another one. And you make another perfect circle. <gasps> Back home, and Sam's been working on some artwork. Yeah. Are we allowed to look? No. Oh. I'm just kidding. We have been working on a web series that um, celebrates the art and storytelling behind Disney movies. Mm -hmm. um, it's called Not So Small World. 
so I've been trying to come up with a branding for it, not this. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. These are like logo, um, kind of like thumbnails, which are like small sketches and graphic design. I'm coming up with like possible like symbols and color palettes and um, typefaces we might use. Well, another thing I like to do in my spare time is work on little videos and stuff. And uh, I'll even animate occasionally, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm working on something called Love at First Sight, which is about the need for love and the abusal of it, pretty much. Yeah. Basically, every day I go on the computer and look up the latest movie news and stuff, or work on my own videos, even. Yeah. I'm talking to the camera, Becca. We have been working from home over these past couple months, so here's been my work setup provided by my job. Um, and Sam has her double screens over here for her job. And this side is a drafting table, mm -hmm. but you can't see it because my work computers took over my computer table. <laughs> so I just switch over here, but usually this is angled up and it has drawings like plastered all over oh, it. Yeah. So it doesn't look as cool right now, but because of work made it uncool. <laughs> my dad is taking my mom out to ice cream as an early birthday gift. Isn't that sweet, mother? Hi, Becca. How was your life in a day day? Kind of normal. What would I tell myself 10 years ago? I would say. Stop being so self-conscious if you can. I know it's hard when you're 15. The same thing I would tell myself now um, <laughs> is to be less fearful. Well, I was only a year old, so I don't know if I'd listen. <laughs> Stop pooping yourself. <laughs> <laughs> don't be a dummy. Yeah. I would tell him that no matter what Lucy says, she's still going to be a dummy. <laughs> you're not going to want to get married. And you will not believe this. But you won't, and you will have amazing friends, and they will be more amazing than you can imagine, and it's crazy. And what would I tell myself 10 years from now, I would say, um, I hope you're continuing to be creative. I hope that you are doing something really cool that I can't even picture at age 25, and I hope that you're still leaving room for life. I just hope I'm doing something that makes me feel uh, fulfilled. I just hope I'm uh, still looking after myself, still like taking care of myself. Still don't be a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> that was mean but funny. <laughs> you better have a cat because although I never thought I'd want an indoor cat, I have one now and I know that I do. Because Gozi is perfect. Hopefully I have my whole life and vocation and everything figured out. Because I am slow on the roll. Get with it, Becca. What did you think of life in a day day? 2020. It, it was cool. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. There's yeah. a few minutes left until midnight. So we're going to bid adieu. Adieu. Bye.